If you've been using GarageBand for a while, you'll probably know that there are 10 completely free effects that you can use here in your projects. But did you know there are also 17 additional free plugins that you can add? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how. Let's go. So these free plugins range from the very useful to the not so useful and include things like pitch shifting, limiters, EQs, filters, delays, and reverbs. Here's how to add them. The first thing we need to do is actually leave GarageBand. Open your settings app, and here on the left, scroll down to the bottom until you see apps. Now, if you're on an older version of iOS or iPadOS, you won't see apps. You'll just need to continue scrolling and all of your apps will be listed in alphabetical order. Let's tap on apps, find GarageBand by tapping on G, and tap GarageBand. Scroll down until you find this setting here. Enable Apple designed audio unit extensions. If that's off, make sure it's on. Return to GarageBand. Now swipe up from the bottom and close the app by flicking away and now reopen. To check if the apps have been installed, tap on the mixer icon. Now tap plugins and EQ, hit the edit button, hit plus on a free slot. And at the top here, change this tab from effects to audio unit extensions. Now, if you've downloaded any AUV3 plugins, the Apple ones will be right at the bottom. So scroll to the very bottom of your list and you'll find all of these. If you've done all those steps and they're still not showing, turn your iPad completely off and turn it back on. To add one of these plugins, all you need to do is tap on the plugin, hit done. And then to control the plugin parameters, tap on the little Apple icon. And here you can adjust and use this very cool delay plugin with a great little interface to go along with it. Now you might be thinking, I already have a delay plugin. Why do I need to use this one? Well, it just gives you another little tool here and something a little bit different that you can use here to make your songs sound their best. And the other advantage of these is because they are built in Apple plugins, they don't use very much memory, so your system will keep running well, even if you add uh, quite a few of these plugins. Let's add one of these to this acoustic guitar. We'll solo it, we'll go to edit here, tap on the plus button, come over here to audio unit extensions and scroll to the bottom. Let's check out this reverb plugin by tapping, hitting done and tapping on the Apple icon. And you can see we've got some fun options in here, such as the delay time here, and you can even do things like randomizing the reflections to get very different kind of sounds here in GarageBand. Like our other plugins, you can turn them off by tapping on the blue button and back on. Let's turn this off, take a listen, and then turn it back on. Pretty cool, even though we have a track reverb here, it gives us another reverb and more options. And we've even got some quite complex plugins such as this Dynamics Processor here, which can be great if you really wanna customize and tweak your sound. And it gives you this great visual display of exactly what's going on when adjusting your dynamics. And you've even got some handy presets here in the bottom left if you wanna try a few different things. And of course, right here on the channel, I cover each and every one of these 17 plugins. So if you'd like to know what they do in more detail, check out the links down in the description. And one final tip here, if you've got some vocals or a recording that's a little noisy, the Sound Isolation plugin is actually one of the best noise reduction plugins available on iPhone or iPad, and it's 100% free. So what are you waiting for? Dive in and explore these awesome free plugins. And again, don't forget that there are links to how to use them all down in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.